with ESPN's game day set all set. You gotta get a smile, you know what I mean? Yeah. Gophers fans are putting on their game face. Just making it look pretty, I guess. Minnesota so. senior Austin Wilhelm says he could think of no better way to greet the visiting ESPN crew. All I've been telling them is uh, welcome to Minnesota. This is very Minnesotan weather. Game day host Reese Davis had some fun indoors today, but is happy to embrace the bold north tomorrow. Welcome to Minnesota. Thank you. Glad to be here. It's the perfect place to be. I'm hoping it snows. We're really excited to be able to go someplace we haven't been before, but we're here because they're good and they're playing for something. Your axe. Before the season, not many thought the axe game would also be a battle for the Big Ten West. But analyst Kirk Herbstreet yeah. did see elite potential. Preseason, did you pick the Gophers as your sleeper? Yeah, I in did. The Big Ten? Yeah, I picked Wisconsin to win the West. And Minnesota is my sleeper. So we'll let you reconsider that now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'll tell you, when you go back to August, everybody was talking Nebraska. And if you looked at Minnesota, they had a lot of talent, but you just didn't know how they would gel. But uh, yeah, of course, that I'm in Minneapolis and they're playing at home, of course, I would reconsider and pick the Gophers, right? <laughs> <laughs> Former Gophers receiver Eric Decker will, too. He'll join the desk as celebrity guest at the end of the three-hour broadcast. He's willing to come sit in the snow and make picks with us. So, uh, you know, that's always, that's always a good sign. And despite all the talk of snow, rain, and even sleet, the one weather element that could hamper this outdoor set is wind. They'll be keeping an eye on that. And if it's over 30 miles per hour, it could force them to go inside to Northrop Auditorium, where they have a temporary set ready to go.